What is up y'all? It is Dusky coming to you today with a new video. Today we are talking about an extremely important comparison. Whether you are streaming to Twitch, to Facebook, to YouTube, to whatever, we are talking about Streamlabs OBS versus OBS. When to use it, why you should use it, what makes it usable or not usable. We'll go ahead and start out with Streamlabs OBS. This is the program that I used when I first started out streaming and used it for quite some time. It was very, very effective, very easy to grasp, very easy to get a hold of. Learning curve wasn't too steep at all. And that's one of the pros. That is probably the biggest pro to Streamlabs OBS is that it is easy to learn. It's easy to get the hang of and the learning curve isn't too steep. The layout of Streamlabs OBS is very basic. If you are just now starting streaming, this is your first time and you're looking to learn OBS, that is a very, very easy way to do it. It's just get in there and play around with Streamlabs OBS. It also integrates very, very well with Twitch. The chat, the follows, everything along those lines will integrate very, very well into your Streamlabs OBS. Speaking of notifications, those notifications are very, very easy to get the hang of. All you'll need to do is just add some widgets and then you can add some notifications that way. Very, very easy to do, very straightforward, fantastic for beginning streamers. When it comes to tracking follows, tracking subscriptions, posts, donations, that kind of stuff, it is fantastic at doing that because of that integration with Twitch that we talked about earlier. The Streamlabs website is very intuitive. It's very easy to use, very user-friendly, and it's great for beginning streamers. The moderator bot, which can be found on that website, is pretty effective. It gets the job done. However, you can't change the name of it unless you pay for some stuff. Speaking of that paid version, there is a paid version of Streamlabs OBS. Once Logitech took over a couple of years ago, they added a paywall to a lot of different features. Those features include a, a custom website, a uh, couple other various things. You get a bunch of free overlays whenever you sign up for that paid version. And it's decent. The overlays are pretty solid. The website, not so much, but we'll get to that on the other side of things. It is mobile compatible, so you can stream directly from your phone, which is great. But unless you pay for it, there is a little Streamlabs watermark, which if that's okay with you, then fantastic. Also along the mobile lines, you can actually use that Streamlabs app on your phone to actually be a stream deck replacement, kind of not totally so, but it's still pretty solid and still a great option. As I mentioned earlier, the widgets that are in Streamlabs OBS are pretty easy to use. They're pretty easy to figure out and a basic tutorial on YouTube and you'll be a master in no time. One very, very great pro about Streamlabs is the fact that their merch store is amazing. They have fantastic merchandise, but that being said, a lot of the merchandise is behind that paywall. Some of the cons to using Streamlabs OBS are gonna be that it's not super customizable. So with normal OBS, you have the ability to add plugins, which is gonna be able to streamline your entire stream and just make it look more custom and just better. Another con to using Streamlabs OBS is that it puts a little bit more stress on your CPU or GPU, whichever one you use to encode, than OBS because everything is using a local file as opposed to using a browser source. One of the biggest drawbacks of Streamlabs is the Prime version. So that paid version that we talked about earlier, when Logitech took over, they, they put a lot of things behind a paywall that we had access to before Logitech took over, which doesn't really sit right with me. The web page is not fantastic at all. Coming from somebody that works in SEO, in digital marketing, at my nine to five job, it's not the best. It's poorly optimized and the SEO is not near the quality that it needs to be. Another con to using OBS, and this one's a pretty big one, you can't put plugins on Streamlabs OBS, which makes a huge difference in your stream. So let's move on to what I use, OBS. With OBS, you're gonna use Stream Elements, which is kind of similar to Streamlabs. It's the same idea as Streamlabs, but I think that they do it a lot better. It is a little bit tougher to figure out, a little bit more steep, steeper, a little bit more steep of a learning curve, 
but very, very well worth it in my opinion. If you have a basic understanding of OBS in general, then you should use the OBS platform with stream elements because it's so much more flexible and you're gonna, your stream is gonna look so much more original. One streamer that I look up to is Nutty and he utilizes OBS and Leoran Board, which is a plugin for OBS, exceptionally well. It is fantastic what he does. His stream is so original it's always changing there's always something new always something fun and exciting that the that the, the audience can interact with him there's ways to take the points that you gain on twitch the i forget the streamer points or whatever it is and you can actually use those streamer points to affect the stream you can have something pop up on the stream a sound happen or just change the stream color i mean there's, there's all kind of crazy stuff that you can do with the plugins that you get for OBS. When streaming, OBS actually puts a little bit less stress on your PC, on the CPU, on the GPU, whichever one you use to encode, than Streamlabs OBS does. Again, because Stream Elements is using the browser source, whereas Streamlabs OBS is actually using local files and having to play those local files through your computer as well. The moderator bot on Stream Elements is a lot better. In my opinion, it is more functional as well as you can name it whatever you want to name it for free, which I appreciate and I love. I love having that feature. One thing that OBS really did struggle with at the beginning was it didn't integrate very well with Twitch. It didn't have a chat box or anything like that, but they have recently updated it, I think within the past year or so. So it now has a chat box. It now has various different things that integrates very, very well with Twitch. Some of the cons for OBS with stream elements is that it's tougher to learn. It does take a little bit longer to learn and it is a little bit steeper of a learning curve. But in my opinion, that learning curve is very, very well worth it. And also it's gonna make you stand out as a streamer. When somebody comes in and can do something completely custom on your stream, that's 100% worth taking a little bit of extra time and learning that little feature. All in all, Streamlabs OBS is an absolutely fantastic application if you're a beginning streamer. It's very easy to get the hang of and it's very, very easy to set up and customize however you want it to look to a certain extent. Once you get the hang of Streamlabs OBS, once you understand OBS and the program in general, you should switch over to the plain old vanilla OBS with stream elements added. It's gonna be a learning curve changing to stream elements, but there's tutorials out there on YouTube explaining everything you need to know about stream elements and how to interlace it with OBS. So in my personal opinion, I would say that OBS is the superior program because of the plugins, because of the customization, because of the originality that you can get with your stream through OBS and through stream element and the fact that they don't have that paywall. As always, thank y'all so much for coming and watching the video. If you did like this video, if you got something from it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I definitely would appreciate that. And if you haven't already, take some time, go look around the channel, see what you think. If you like what you see, please do hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. And be sure to check down in the subscription and check out all my socials. Join the Discord, follow on Twitter, follow on Facebook, follow on Instagram, uh, follow on MySpace, follow on TikTok, all those fun things. Yeah, so many socials out there now, jeez. As always guys, y'all have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching. See ya.